Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be trying out a new foundation. This is the number seven foundation. Here's the box. I'm afraid I probably have gotten too light of a color for me, but we're gonna try it anyways. So this is number seven and it is the Stay Perfect Foundation. Always skin, all skin types. Coverage is medium, nonstop, Complexion Perfection All Day Wear Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Hypoallergenic. Now, where are my glasses? I forgot to go get my glasses. So I can't read you what it says. It says long lasting foundation for a naturally flawless complexion with super staying power. This comfortable foundation feels lightweight and I don't know what that word is. And gives you even cor correct, beautifully smooth complexion that looks fresh all day long. Probably don't want me to read this since I can't really see it very well. Let's see. It's supposed to basically last all day long. It can be relied on to stay perfect up to 17 hours. I won't be wearing it 17 hours. So let's get started. I already have primed my face with my Algenist anti-aging primer. Oh, pore correction anti-aging primer. So we'll just go right in with this. It does come with a nice pump. Um, I am going to just put it on the back of my hand. And there is the color. See why I think it's too light. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully it's going to go on perfectly. And then I'm just going to put it on my face. and spread it out with my brush. And I'm going to use my dupe brush for my Artiste. This is the Bestity brush. And if you wanna know more about this brush, I actually did a video on these brushes. It was the first video I ever did. Wow. This has what appears to be zero coverage. It said medium. This is like see-through. I don't see any coverage at all because I don't have a lot of redness or anything like that. And the little bit of redness I have, it is showing through. And I use two full pumps. Wow. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it disappeared? I think it disappeared. Okay, let's get another pump. And I'll try it with a sponge. See if we can build it up. Definitely got a glow to it. Let's go with another pump. It really feels like it is not covering anything. And this glow definitely feels like it is enhancing 
my texture and wrinkles I feel like I'm being super negative which I don't like to be but it didn't even cover the veins all right let's just use some concealer Maybe we'll use my Tarte Shape Tape and see if we can save this. Now we're going to go in and powder this shine. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent powder and my Eco Tool sponge. Let's see if we can't turn this plastic looking glow into something better. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. It's not really baking, but it's kind of baking while I do my eyebrows. Okay, now I'm going to brush this off. Go in with some more just for the rest of my face. Okay, I am going to go finish the rest of my makeup and then I will come back. Okay, I finished putting on my makeup and my initial views of this um, foundation. This is the number seven foundation from Target. And I think they have it at Ulta too, I'm not sure. But this is the number seven Stay Perfect because there were a couple different kinds of number seven foundation but this is the stay perfect foundation and it says it's medium coverage i do not think it's medium coverage i think it is sheer at best it did build up a little bit but i felt like it was dragging when i would put stuff on top of it so um my first impressions are not that good it didn't really cover as well as i like and it was a little hard to blend things on top without losing the coverage. Cause see the dark spots right there? I have dark spots and I thought I had them covered, but then when I put on my blush and bronzer, it seemed like it drug some of it off. So we will do a wear test. It's not gonna be too long cause it's like noon now, but I will let you know how it wears. Hello everybody, welcome back. I, it is the end of the day. Well, it's really not quite the end of the day, but 
I think I've given it enough of a wear test. This product actually says this Stay Perfect Foundation from number seven. It says it would last up to 17 hours. It's only been probably about six hours, but I have already formed my opinion. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have moved at all. It took a lot of product to get this amount of coverage. It's actually, to me, if you like a light coverage, it's probably great, especially if you don't like a matte finish because it was a glowy finish. I powdered it down and that helped it a lot to me because I like a velvet finish. Um, I feel like when I have the shine that it makes my face look plastic and it makes it look like plastic with wrinkles. So I would rather have it a velvet look and I don't think that the matte finish makes my wrinkles any worse than the shine. I actually like the, the matte finish better. But I did get a matte finish by putting the powder on top of it, so it's okay. It's a little shiny on my nose, but that's probably because I'm sweating. But um, as far as it goes, for me, I, I'm sure that I won't use it again because it just took too much product. To get the coverage that I want and like I said when I put on my um, blush and bronzer it seemed like it moved underneath and I didn't like that although now it looks fine from a distance it's just when you get up even close it's fine now I just don't like the amount of product I had to use to get to this but if you don't mind the shine but you wanted a fuller coverage and this one you can get to there. I don't actually, I don't think you can get to a full coverage with it, but you can get to this medium coverage if you don't mind using a lot of product because it took four or five pumps to get to this and two full coats. So that's my review on it. Um, it's kind of a thumbs down for me, but it might be good for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.